It's a process that turns this big pile of trash and these tiny pieces of plastic into this. These are the two, the two liquids. So that would be a, a diesel fuel that we're getting out of here and a gasoline. In, in this case, this is the two that we've set up to do. Plastic is just like oil. And it came out of the ground at one time the same way. We are taking plastic and we are, we are converting it using a pro process called pyrolysis, where we're converting it into um, a fuel. Fuel that's already being used in trucks. And the hope is to bring this technology beyond Whitby. We can convert with this piece of equipment, which is a prototype piece, about five tons a day. Five tons of plastic can be converted into about 4,000 liters. It still perpetuates the, uh, the, the make-take waste economy. While the project aims to give old plastic new life, Keith Brooks with Environmental Defence says he'd rather see more renewable energy sources and no non-recyclable plastic at all. We think that we need to do much better on recycling. I mean, Canadians now have woken up to the fact that we are failing quite dramatically on recycling. We recycle 9% of the plastics used here in Canada. But as plastic waste continues to wash up on shores across the country, Oberic says this is one way to deal with it. We're giving plastic another chance, because if you take plastic as it stands, it's going to go in the ground, it's going to sit there for a thousand years. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto.